Buckle up? I'd rather not. You want me to put your purse away? Shove it. Hide. That's not gonna happen. Then we perv the nice lady. Then we don't enjoy the smoke. You know it's gonna be a good vacation when the airline's named after you. New game. Meet Marty and his family. They're horrible. Can I get a new one? Marty's hard work has finally paid off. He saved enough money for a family vacation. I hope they enjoy themselves and don't come back. Won't you join them? I'd rather not. Welcome aboard Paradise Air Flight 316, says the lady with the world's tiniest legs. Thank you for flying with us today. You're welcome, disproportionate lady. Now please buckle up and enjoy your flight. Buckle up. Now this might look really easy to a lot of you, but trust me, it's, it's just not. I usually do that. Gosh dang, these belts sure are tricky. Yep, you gotta take one end and the other and kind of make them meet in the middle. It's a lot to take on, especially for a bald guy. Marty, stop playing around and put my purse away. This is my very angular wife with a bad haircut. I don't like her at all. Sure thing, honey bun. Stow the purse. Well, that depends. Can we do this? Wow. It's very late at night. I'm very tired. Oopsie. Whose purse is this? It's my wife's. Feel free to push her right off the plane. Hide? Um, nope, let's do this. I'm down. I... Okay, yep, hello. I would like... Well, I guess they can't catch me if I'm always behind them. This is actually the perfect strategy. We're hiding now. They'll never find me here. Is this actually going to work? Whoops, I got cut on a seat. But this will work fine. Yeah, I guess if I'm behind them, they'll never find me. Never mind. I didn't realize it could turn right around. I say, son, you happen to catch a wink of the villain who disposed of their bill for it in such a violent manner. I did not. What? Oh, uh, no, sir. No, it was my wife, though. If you want to go ahead and kill her, feel free. I'll see about that. Do we stand up to the pressure? He has a monocle after all, so we gotta go up and down. Up and down. Just what I'm good at. Okay, well, swords, swords. You know what? I don't have time for this. Let's let him get me. Now, son, you wouldn't be telling a little old film, would ya? I wouldn't lie to a guy with a monocle. I, I, I did it. It was me. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Oh, you, sir, are a vile scoundrel, and I demand the satisfaction of a duel. Yeah, whatever. You have one eye. That can't be that hard. As you wish, allow me to don my dueling glove. Ready for battle. We gotta rapidly press space. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, okay, so we're just fighting to put the glove on at this point. Is it supposed to go on or not? I'm confused. Okay. So, great. If you're ready, sir. Well, you see, I used up all my energy putting on my dueling glove for some reason. The duel shall commence. Why does he have a gun? I don't have a gun, I have a glove. But I'm still optimistic I can come out on top. Provide satisfaction. Speaking of coming out on top. Wait. Oh. Um. Yeah, no, I think I almost had that one. Let's face it, Marty, who's actually a small man in shorts. Along with my wife, who is also a small creature in shorts. I got an achievement for the fun now, so I guess my top half died and my bottom half lived. Which is kind of a shame. Missed the seatbelt. Got the purse. Good enough, at least. We don't have to get the whole thing in. There we go. Two hours later. Getting famished here. Oh, goody. Just in time. We have a raw fish or fried chicken. Fish or chicken. And go. I think we got the fish. We're eating a raw fish on an airplane. Life just couldn't be better. Thank you, I will. I will enjoy this terrible food. What do you mean you're out of fish, big dude? It's Good Friday and I can't be eating no chicken, Jack. Right. I'm so sorry, sir. That gentleman there took the last one, and I'm enjoying it to the fullest. Listen, Jack, the bolsternator needs that fish, and he needs it now, Daddy. Well, I will give you it if you don't ever call me Daddy again. That's a deal. Make our stand. Do I have to rapidly press this? What do I need to do? Everything um. results in me dying, so it's just like real life. Here you go. Thank you, brother. I can see you're one of my little bolthusiasts. Whatever you say, weirdo. Please let me go back to my seat. Here's a little gift, Big Jack. Go ahead, try it on. Are you giving me your belt? Put on the strap? Uh, no, I'd rather not. This is a very weird concept. We're not gonna, he's just gonna have to wait. Oh, I should probably just like miss then, huh? Yeah, sorry, I, I can't do a seatbelt and I can't do a belt. Won't fit, oh well, as I hurl it off into space. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, captain speaking. We're expecting some turbulence. Please return to your seats. Turbulence my ass. This shortcut over Monster Island is suicide. In that case, could you make the plane go faster? Because this plane ride isn't a lot of fun. Watch and learn, Jackson. Fly like a pro? Oh, here we go. I'm gonna nail this. Uh, yep. Nothing to see here. We're just gonna avoid all the monsters while we go. I don't really want to get to wherever it is we're going, but you know what? I'm kind of enjoying the minigame. Look how happy the sunshine is. When the sun's happy, everyone's happy. Oh, I didn't realize I could move forward and backwards too. Video games these days, huh? Gosh darn it, Korgax. This is the third one you've let get away this week. I'm sorry, Mr. Kron. Fire him. Did that sorry for the milkman sport. I'm gonna have to let you go. Well, Korgax lost his job today. Big old loser. Preposterous. You start work for me first thing Monday morning. You nine iron, sir. The end. So what happened to Marty? The monster got fired, but 
Did Marty have to go on vacation with his family? Because that's even worse. You know what? For the first time, I realized there's a continue button. I know, right? Should've been obvious. It's right there for me, but I never noticed. So that's the seatbelt choice. Now, next would be the wife's luggage. Depending on what way we take things, we can get all sorts of different endings. But let's jump right past that annoying intro, right into my annoying wife and put her purse away. Which looks something like that. I actually did that really nicely. I'm proud of myself. As easy as that is, I'm very proud of myself. The trick this time is to get the chicken, because you know what happens when we get the fish. We get Hulk Hogan involved. And we got the fish. Of course we did. And I can't remember what we had to do here. Do we shoot him? Do we not shoot him? I'm pretty sure we just die either way. Okay, so this time we will put on the belt. I think, uh, I don't know if I can steer this. Can I? Whatever. Once it's in there, I'll get it. Don't you worry about that. I think I got it. Oh, it's a multiple part challenge. I didn't know that. You can't ask me to stay focused for this long. I did get it again and things are getting weirder by the second. Am I turning into him? That would be okay. That's probably better than my life. Yeah, look at me go. It's like a glove. When a man in a pink speedo asks you to do something, you do it. At last, freedom. Wait, what? Is he disappearing? Is he a genie? Now you must bear the burden. My friend, I have a wife and kids. How much worse could it get? Farewell. Uh, let's dance, pretty boy. Starting to wonder what kind of airline we're on or where we're going. Defend the title. Do I have to press this rapidly? I'm so tired of these. Yeah, there we go. It's like Rock'em Sock'em Robots. This one's easy, though. Some of those are so hard. Yes, I won. I've always wanted to kill a man on an airplane. And we're crowd surfing away on the plane. And he is actually dead, so. Oh, that was the pilot. We probably need that to fly the plane. That's definitely an ending though, isn't it? You know what? Pilots are overrated anyway. Where are we jumping in this time? So say we have the money for a drink and we actually buy it because that one's super hard. We'll jump right into whatever this one was. Here you go, sir. One drink for me. Marty, I think you've had enough. Remember your weak batter? Remember my annoying wife? She's why I'm drinking. All right, candy cane. There's one little sip for the road. Taste sweet release. Oh, there's no release for me. That thing's dropping out. I guess you're right, honey muffin. Matter of fact, I have to tinkle already. All dang belt stuck. Whatever that means. Unbuckle in time? Nope. That's not gonna happen. Oh, do I have to do this challenge again? Okay. Wow. I'm so bad at that one. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Look at that fool. Oh, heck. Oh, I wet my pants. Well, you know what? If that's the worst thing that happens to me today, it's still not that bad. What a loser, said the three brown twins. It's just damn pants. I'm so ashamed. Yeah, seatbelts are hard. And the shame? Uh, wait, what? Oh. oh, and I can't even kill myself properly. Oops, I missed. And we're knocking a UFO out of orbit. A quail hostile target. You never know what this game is going to do. Oh, wait, can I actually do this? Yeah, here we go. Oh, I see. We just got to keep locked on there. That's not so hard to do. Thanks, alien. Really appreciate your hard work. Not sure what's happening, but the aliens are having a good time. Oh, he brought a toy airplane home for his child. You know what? I'm sure everyone on the plane is perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. All right, so let's say I do get the drink, but then I do get to drink it. If I can ever make it to my mouth. Oh, you gotta press this so fast. This is like the hardest challenge ever. I don't have the energy for this. I might just let this thing go because this is dumb. Okay, finally got it. Never ever doing that one again. Oh, just what the doctor ordered. Do it is. Keep them coming. Pathetic. Oh, are you still here? Feel free to leave at any point. World spinning. Must be getting sleepy. Yeah, that has nothing to do with 17 drinks on an airplane. Send Marty to dreamland. Sleepy dust. Uh, what? Oh, I see. We gotta do this? I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't, I don't get that at all. Caught you, Mr. Sandman. This time, Martin. This time. You really did it, Marty. You finally stayed up late. Maybe it's not true what they say about you after all. This calls for a little dancey poo. I really wish I put him to sleep now. Don't spill. I think I might have screwed that one up. Oh no, your prize shirt. Marty, what are you doing over there? Definitely not getting drunk and dancing. Also, there was a fairy here for a minute. Nothing, dear. Better not have ruined your new shirt. I just bought it. You can't buy me a shirt and expect me not to spill alcohol on it. Gotta move fast, Marty. Save the shirt. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna save this shirt. Just gotta keep wiping up all those stains that are everywhere. And what kind of stain is this? Am I constantly spilling stuff on it? There's like a storm on my shirt. Did I get it? Marty? Honey Muffin, I can explain. I got way too drunk and fell over. This is the last straw. We're over. Oh, hold on. I like where this is going. Sugar Plum, wait. I can change. But I'm not going to. One divorce later. He's now married to Hulk Hogan. There's a child with a baby and I'm stalking them both. I mean, I don't have a wife anymore, so that's a plus. Okay, see? We missed the purse. Really badly. But then managed to successfully hide from that guy. Depending on which way he's going, I'm gonna sneak in behind him. 
Perfect. Now, as long as I'm staying behind him, he won't ever find me. As long as he doesn't do a 90 degree, uh, 180 degree turn like he did before. But we learned from that, didn't we? Mission accomplished. No one saw a thing. I say, son, what are you doing here? Okay, I guess he didn't find me before either. Whatever the case, we will now stand up to his pressure, which shouldn't be that very hard because I don't have to move very far. Not swords. They might cut my hair if they get too close. Uh-oh. I almost screwed that up. Oh, but then that didn't happen, though. Yes, of course. My apologies, my dear boy. Think nothing of it, my good man. You really shouldn't lie like that, Martin. It says, who's there? Good little sweeties don't fit, Martin. Yes, they do. Yeah, but flaming cool dudes do. Don't you want to be rad? Says the devil on my shoulder. I'm going to make you two fight to the death, and whoever wins gets to tell me what to do. Dinner or a saint? Um, yeah, we're probably going to go with the devil here. So I need to be careful how I do this. Take one of each there, a couple devils here, and yeah, this should be easy enough. We'll see you at the end. Got him. Yeah, time to be rad. What should we do first, Mr. Satin? I think you mean Satan, although I'm not actually. Oh, oh right. Sorry about that, Stanton. Anyways, what do you say to a dance party? Sounds cool, right? Marty's just a guy that's got it all figured out. Oh, to hell with this. Uh... Hey, wait, come back. We haven't even got funky yet. Even the devil abandoned me. Escape? The devil is trying to get away from Marty now. Interesting. Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna let him do that because no one deserves to be near Marty. Not even the devil. And luckily, Marty's not that bright, so it's not that hard to hide from him. Wait. Can't the devil, like, teleport anyway? He teleported to my shoulder, but great. And he has a landline. Because this is 1999. Hello? No, I can't hang out. I have to feed my fish. Now please stop calling. Well, clearly, obviously, we just need to remove the fish from the equation and he'll have time to hang out with me. See, we've got it all figured out. Now he has all the time in the world to hang out with me, as long as he doesn't get another fish. There are a lot of endings. What a game. Though so if we miss the purse, and then get caught by whoever's trying to find me... Hey, did you drop this? I sure did. Uh, yes I did. I'm very sorry. But not overly, because look at you compared to my wife. You're both a little disproportionate, but I like you better. Pervert? Do I want a pervert? What does it take to pervert? Oh, okay, yeah, I see. You gotta keep your eyes up, and I failed to keep my eyes up. Here's your purse back, creep. Goodness, what an emotional roller coaster. I gotta go calm down. Obviously, the only way I know how to do that is with a cigarette while watching a purse levitate through the air. Enjoy the bold flavor? Uh, yes, we do need that. After all, we were working pretty hard as a pervert. So, uh. Okay, I think that worked. Nothing like a trip through flavor country to take the edge off. Sir, you cannot smoke in an airplane. Put that out right this second. Okay, I have a feeling me trying to put this cigarette out is going to cause a lot of people to die. Lick it? Mm, yes. What? Okay, so I guess we'll just work our way all the way up. Oh, there's a way to fail this. Marty can fail anything. He's that talented. And he's having a flashback to when he was at war. In this village, probably somewhere in Africa by the looks of it. The end? I have no idea what Marty just did. Did he burn the plane down? Is that what I'm supposed to be getting? Alternatively, what if poor Marty doesn't get to smoke? What about that? Dang, Match, there must be a draft in here. Yeah, somebody probably left the window open. There you are. You're in trouble now, pervert. I've heard that before. Miss, you're the one having a stroke. You an eyeball in my woman? Well, I mean, look at her. That sass talk I'm hearing, it's on now, city boy. Go over the top? Do we go over the top? Yeah, we can take this guy. Clearly, Marty's a superhuman. This one's not nearly as hard as some of the other ones were. Okay, are we done now? Good. Because my arm's getting tired. You got champ, here's your prize. Enjoy being king of the road. And so, Marty set out on his great journey. Never to return home again. Another good ending. I like this one. So what if we do try and smoke, but then we do get to flick the cigarette? That one can't be too hard to do, right? Last time I got halfway up without even trying. Come on, we can do it. Almost there. And kapow. We're able to put out a cigarette. We'll just open the window and toss it on out. Causing the biggest brush fire in human history. 48 million people died that month. Just kidding. We actually lit every part of Earth on fire with a single cigarette. The end. Okay, but is there actually any way to not perv on this lady? I feel like this one's actually impossible. And I just said I wasn't going to do another space bar challenge, but here I go. I think I can do this. Ready? Go. Keep those eyes up, Marty. I don't think there's any way to win that at all. So apparently there has to be, and I might have to use like a macro keybind to get that one done. So then if we miss the seatbelt, put the purse away, and get our food, but get chicken. Thank you, miss. I will enjoy this chicken. Or I will try to. Apparently that's easier said than done. Oh, okay, we gotta go up and down. Yep, really good chicken. Very realistic animation. That's some good chicken. Airline food's the best. 
Say, friend, would it surprise you to know you're eating Professor Whatever's baked chicken? Oh. It sure would. The fine folks at home are just dying to know how many stars you would give it. Why are you filming me on an airplane? How is the chicken? It is, uh, that good. One star. Meanwhile, at the Ezekiel Manor. Well, sir, if I'm being honest, I'd sooner jump off this airplane than have another piece. I'd really only give it one star. One? It's me. Yes, I have a job for you. Do the job. Uh, oh, we get to assassinate Marty now. This is going to be fun. So we want to probably go in the head, right? That's what an assassin would do. I think we got him. Nothing personal, friend. And Marty is done. Uh, job well done. Here you go, Mr. Assassin. Here's your money. Just one more thing. Now the assassin's dead too. No loose ends. I like his style. Okay, so we take that chicken, but we don't enjoy it. Oh. We'll just sit here and enjoy that animation. Chicken floating in front of a mouth. It's a bit overcooked. I couldn't even take a single bite. Pardon me, miss. Can I exchange this for the fish? To dry for my taste. No, of course you can't, you uh... idiot. Well, I never. I know. I'll order out. Let's see if I have any coupons here. Surely someone delivers to an airplane 35,000 feet in the air. Shop smart? I don't think we have a choice. And we're going for whatever, a dollar. Oh, well, guess I'll just cook something here. That's a perfectly normal thing to do. Yeah, we'll just fire up the grill right on the airplane. Why not? Grilled like a master? I'm not sure we have any other... Royce, did I get that right? What the blue moon hell is that intoxicating aroma? That's the smell of barbecue on the plane. That's just my special mix of spices and herbs. Here, have a bite. Sweet Miss Christ baby boy. I get that a lot. I'm tasting heaven. Maybe you're just drunk. Four months later, I was worried we were going to have a baby. Boy, I tell you, that recipe of yours is a gold mine. JT and Marty's. This here's a chicken town. Um, okay, Professor E's chicken licking on the road. Oh, yeah, he just firebombed us. Well, good, the dream is dead. Yeah, insurance is overrated anyway, isn't it? What happens if we just outright fail everything in true Marty fashion? Buckle up, I'd rather not. You want me to put your purse away? Shove it. Hide, that's not gonna happen. Then we perv the nice lady. Then we don't enjoy the smoke. Then the man that I romantically started a steak oath with comes to confront me. But then we let him win the arm wrestling. But you know, city boy, why do we look like that now? And he pulls my arm right off. Don't worry, miss. We're doing everything possible for your husband. Are we going to get a bionic arm? Oh, Lord. We'll never be able to afford all this nonsense. Don't worry, miss. We made arrangements for that. That sounds shady. I like it. And now I'm a janitor with a metal arm. That's actually an improvement over Marty's previous life. Okay, so we get this seatbelt. We put that on. We try and get a drink. We miss a drink. And then we're tempted to smoke. And, of course, we're going to let Marty smoke. Then we try and get to the cockpit, but not very hard. So we're going to walk right into her. Just what I wanted to see. Couple drinks for the road, if you please. Six hours later. So that's when I said, uh, what was I talking about again? Probably that guy's mom. Find a topic of conversation? Yes, I would love to. Uh, Marty's got a pretty big brain we need to navigate, and the things seem to move around. Okay, so we're basically just going to go somewhere and wait for one to come to us then. Sound good? So... Okay. Oh, wait. Yep. There we go. That worked out actually pretty good. 10 hours later. Oh. That's 16 hours of drinks. And clearly we're flying to another planet because that's a long flight. So I say to him, that's no oven. That's my wife. Though I can understand the confusion. You can fit an entire turkey in either uh. one. Oven. Hmm. Did I remember to turn off that dang old oven? Is the oven off? Well, if it's been on, we've already been on the plane for 16 hours. So you know what? Here's hoping. And boom. 600 degrees. And it's getting pretty hot by now. Luckily, the entire kitchen's fireproof. Nothing there can burn, except for the earth itself. And the oven radar is going nuts because my oven is headed for the earth's core and there's nothing anyone can do about it. Things are getting warmer and warmer. And there we go. We entered the entire planet. That's the incredible power that Marty has. 